1,000 subs. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. How is that possible? What is happening? A thousand subscribers. There's a thousand of you. A thousand of you. One, zero, zero, zero. A thousand people not only are watching my videos, but want to know when new videos come out. Want to be notified of that. Like, what? You guys are amazing. I can't believe I have a thousand subs. Never thought it possible, but here we are. Here we are today with one thousand fucking subs. Oh shit! It's fucking. It's crazy. It's crazy. A thousand subscribers. One thousand subscribers. Not nine hundred and ninety-nine. Not ten. Not twenty. Not fifty. Not two fifty. Not a million. One thousand. Thank you guys so much for being part of this. Uh, it's awesome. It's amazing. I could, I mean, I could never thank you guys enough. Uh, I was hoping to do something really big for a thousand subs, and probably not going to happen. Um, but what I figured I would do is I do another, you know, kind of like a, you know, fan response video where I answer some of the questions, some of the things people ask, and uh, you know, clear the air a bit. Um, first thing I want to bring up, just because this is been going on the last couple days there's a, a fan out there he's been following us for a while his name's evil poon uh he has a picture of poon with red eyes and some evil eyebrows and a lot of people out there think that that's poon and i'm telling you i've really i, I put it to poon trying to trying to get him to admit that he's evil poon i tried hard this was a couple months ago when he first came out because i said this has to be poon because this guy i mean he's a warrior he is a fighter. He's going out there and he's defending the hell out of us. I mean, it's one against a million. Uh, you know, there's a few other out there that do the same thing. You know, Sheepdog Sherlock, Provoking Perch, uh, just to name a couple. But they go out there, man. These are my warriors. They're out there. They're defending us. They're, they're fighting the good fight, trying to get through all these very, very dense people that are coming over uh, and just, you know, blindly hating um, but yeah, Evil Poon is not Poon as far as I know. If I find out anything different, I'll let you know. But I'm 99.99% I'm sure that it's not the Poon. It's just a, a really good fan that we have. Believe it or not, we do have a few of those. Uh, obviously, we have a thousand subscribers. Duh. Uh, so this all kind of brings me over to the next thing. I, I have a question for the haters out there. Now, these iDubs videos, they came out what eight nine ten months ago I mean it's a better part of a year at this point and I'm just wondering why are you still here why do you keep coming back to every video don't get me wrong do I want to see a lot of views on my video sure do I want to see a lot of uh, you know comments and whatnot sure um, and are you welcome of course come back you can come back and watch every video uh, if you want to it seems to be what you're doing anyways I just, I just, I, I'm just curious why. Uh, a lot of you claim that it's given you cancer. A lot of you have claimed that you want to kill yourselves, um, and claim that it's just ruining your life in general. All kinds of crazy stuff. And I guess I'm just curious. Well, why are you here? Why do you keep coming back? Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know. I'm just, I'm just curious. Is all your hate ironic? And I'm just not getting it. Kind of like you guys don't get my ironic comedy or whatever you want to call it. Is that is it kind of like you know quit pro pro or quit pro po? Well, whatever you get what I'm saying. Now a lot of you out there, uh, you know, you want me to get better editing software, you want me to get a better camera, all that good stuff. I mean, I'm gonna tell you a little something about the Gator. Gator grew up without technology for one. I didn't have a computer in my house growing up. I didn't have a cell phone literally until like three years ago. But literally, like, I don't even think it's been three years yet, and I never had a cell phone. I'm 28 years old. You guys keep saying I'm 40. The fat jokes are fine. The giant forehead jokes are fine. But the 40 thing, I already feel old at 28 as it is. But, uh, ah, whatever. You can still make fun of my age. I don't care. But anyways, grew up without technology, man. I had none. No computer, no cell phone, no nothing. I mean, even in 2005, 2006, when I was off of college, I was 18, 19 years old, I wanted to, you know, call my girlfriend at the time. Uh, I had to get up out of my apartment, walk a mile down the freaking road to a payphone outside a gas station, 
and I'm sitting there in the blistering cold on a payphone every five minutes throwing in a few more quarters to keep the call going. I mean, that was my life. That's what I, that was my form of communication. If someone wanted to get a hold of me, they had to drive to my house. So, point of all of this is, I, I haven't had technology has not been a huge part of my life like it has a lot of people. I didn't grow up with it. It wasn't something that was constantly in my life. So when it comes to all this editing software, I don't even know what to look up. Uh, I just Googled free editing software and it popped up with some Microsoft Windows thing, which I've fudged my way through. I've downloaded a couple other editing software since then, but uh, I mean, they never really took. I, I couldn't really figure it out. Okay, I'm a dumb dumb. I don't know how to use editing software. So there you go, make fun of that. Uh, but I am figuring it out slowly but surely. And uh, one day I hope to be the editing genius that you guys wish that I would be. And the camera thing, uh, you know, I just, that costs, that costs a scratch, man. That costs that, that costs that money. I mean, I'm working two jobs right now. I got a mortgage, a couple kids, a couple cars. Sorry, that comes first before, I mean, this to me is a hobby. A hobby that I love to do and I love to give to you guys and the moment that I get the opportunity to upgrade the camera to upgrade the editing software without affecting my personal life I'm gonna do it without hesitation anyways I know I tend to drag on in these videos sometimes and uh, by now I've probably already lost at least 80% of you uh, but to the 20% that's still there again thank you so much thousand subscribers for whatever reason amazing and I want to throw some thank yous out there First and foremost, I have to thank iDubs. I know people get tired of me dropping his name in videos every now and again, but if you guys have paid attention, Gator Poon, or Gator the Legend Continues, is not successful without the Kickstarter crap video. <laughs> it's just plain and simple. It's, it's not. It's not successful without it. We did it for like two and a half months, and we literally quit. We quit. The other guys didn't really feel like doing it, and I didn't feel like forcing them to do something that wasn't getting any views. Did we have a few subs? Yeah. I made like three fake accounts. Poon had his account and another account. That guy had an account. Uh, you know, a few people had an account, so we had like 10 subs. They were all people we knew, not one random, you know, person that we didn't know. All the views were us. Uh, we didn't have any views until I dubs. Uh, so, how do I not thank the guy? I mean, a million times and I will I mean I'm shooting for a million times I'm probably gotta be nearing a hundred at this point but yes I dubs thanks again man you're the fucking bomb dude the fact that you did that uh, I, I know it probably it may not have been your intention or your goal uh, but you did tell him at the end to come check out my page whether that was for negative or positive reasons it ended up being positive in my book uh, so again I dubs thank you uh, also thank you that guy Thanks to the other guy. Thanks to HBIC for letting us film as long as he did let us film in the office, uh, even if that did come to an abrupt end. And of course, thank you, Poon. Me and Poon, we've had our ups and downs. We've been through the thick. We've come through it. Uh, you know, now we're split up, whatever. But there would be no Gator without the Poon. He, you know, he is. If nothing, uh, if he never does another video ever, he is still the foundation of everything that I do from this point on. And, you know, a house is only as good as its foundation. Uh, so, Poon, you my man. Thank you a million times. Thousand subs, dude. <laughs> this is how we do it. This is how we become millionaires, man. Uh, we say that all the time. We get like 10, 12 views and be like, Dude, 10, 12 views. This is it. It's how we become millionaires. We'd look at that little thing and say we made like uh, 10 cents. Oh my gosh, this is it, dude. We're going to become billionaires, man. This is it. This is how we become billionaires. Ah, oh, gosh. I don't know. We had some good times. Some really good times. I've had some good times with you guys. Uh, I got to gotta wrap this up. Got to wrap this up. I'm rolling, rolling a little long here. I know. Sorry. I'm just super excited. A thousand, thousand, a thousand subs. Gosh, if somehow, somehow the clouds part and a miracle happens and we get to 10,000 subs, I promise you I'm going to do something epic. I don't know what it will be. I have no clue, but I'm going to make it special. I'm going to make it be the first video that you immediately, when it ends, want to restart it and watch it again. 
I don't, I don't feel like I've made that video yet. I want to make that video. And if I don't do it between now and 10,000 subs, I will put my blood, sweat, and tears into making that happen. I'll put whatever it takes into making that happen for you guys. Uh, but for now, steady as we go. Uh, we're going to continue to try to keep improving here uh, and in Proven, like I have done this entire video, by the way. Uh, also, these glasses really are broke. i work on buying some new ones later. But uh, other than that, thank you once again, everybody who's been involved. You're all amazing. Thank my wife for listening to me talk about this shit every fucking day, even though we know she doesn't give a shit. Uh, who can blame her? Uh, but anyways, thanks again, guys. And as always, I've been Gator, and you've been great.